Dr. Len Horowitz here and uh, Sherry King. We're investigative journalists and we cover the world's worst news and the world's best news. Uh, you know, I want to talk a little bit about um, the injustice. People always say, wow, you live in Hawaii. And um, living in Hawaii is a very beautiful place to live. Don't get me wrong. But there are trade-offs in life. And if you're one of those people that actually is a magnet for those that want to take you out because you are out all about the truth, you are all about peace and love, you want to spread the good news, you really don't want to engage in this New World Order crap that they keep putting out there, uh, the mainstream media is involved, and you want to really get people to open up their eyes and wake up, and your voice starts to get bigger. Well, guess what happens? They start to attack you, and it more and more of a tax and then you have the judicial system against you and if you live in a corrupt place and don't get me wrong Hawaii is beautiful but it is very corrupt I can I can't even stress this amount this enough and tell you that the judicial system and what we have witnessed here is absolutely ridiculous if you think that you can go in to the police and get justice go to the FBI and get justice even go to the court of law and get justice guess what you will not succeed unless you have an attorney or a judge or some other high-powered political official who is going to pay, work out a deal, pay somebody off, do somebody a favor. Because if you're going there just based on truth, based on facts, your facts may never get heard. That's right, never get heard. I mean, you think about it. You pay for a jury trial. We're here living in America. We want to be heard, right? We want the facts to be heard. But sometimes that never happens. So no matter how right you are, no matter how much you've been keeping track of everything, all the truth, guess what? Sometimes it doesn't even pay off for you. It can, you can really be hit hard and not know how it would happen to you. Wonder, how come I never got that jury trial? How come I've never gotten hurt on the merits of my case because of the corruption, because people are paid off, because of technical errors? That's why being pro se as we are, we've experienced even if you're right, even if you have all the evidence, they'll get you on technicalities. They'll get you on a lack of table of contents. Nobody wants to hear your case then. They'll get you on the fact that there's a lack of jurisdiction. Maybe it's a lie. You'll never get to defend it. So you wonder each time you keep hitting a wall and you wonder, when am I ever going to get justice? Well, we've been experiencing that over the last couple months in unbelievable volumes. I mean, every single court of law that we've went to has turned out to be exactly that. Well, folks, I guess you can hear Sherry had a bad day in court yesterday. <laughs> That's what I'm, so she that was just venting. That was Sherry venting for, uh, on the judicial situ situation. And here you have Hawaii. something better to say? Yeah, about actually, this? yeah, I do. You know, folks, every once in a while, you're going to hear during the show and probably every other show that I do. A little bird in the background. It's going to sound very, very interesting. You're going to hear like, you're going to hear. Did you hear that? So, did you hear that? <laughs> anyway, I, I hope you could hear that. There's that, that's another one. What happened a, a couple of weeks ago? I, I mentioned it. I, I had my door open up here on the second floor, overlooking a beautiful scene in Hawaii, and literally, unbelievably, this magnificent parrot flew in the door, and of all places that he came what from. What color land. was he? Tell us. 528 green. Like, a, like about four-fifths of him are completely 528 greenish yellow. All of his whole back, his whole neck, all the way down to his tail feathers, his wings, and even his, his legs <laughs> above his claws is all this greenish yellow. Okay, so this bird literally flies in the window. And, I mean, we have a, a, a large loft-like area. He could have flown in a million places and landed many places. He literally flew right at my head and landed in my hair. I kid you not. And this little guy adopted me instantly. Yeah, I don't know. I'm taking it as a divine sign, some sort of a blessing. But he has been so sweet, so incredible. And he's just kind of like, he doesn't let too many people pet him or touch him. But he just like adores when I come over to him. And he just tells me constantly to scratch his neck, to scratch the back of his head. And it's just like a really, a really cool thing. So anyway, instead of uh, dwelling on the bad scene in the courts yesterday, Sherry, well, okay, so you had a good, good scene. Well, actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm one of our cases. Let me say this: we, I, I wasn't dealing, getting in specific. We, we've been dealing with uh, multiple 
cases that have been brought on by Central Intelligence Agency, FBI, Co-Intel Pro operatives. And even people in the FBI, most of them don't know what Co-Intel Pro is. They've never read the congressional record. It was uh, the Frank Church congressional hearings of 19, I think it was 76. Uh, and you can look it up. And there's really online fantastic websites that go into great detail about how the FBI's COINTEL Pro that operates underneath the CIA covertly and underneath the National Security Agency, how they actually operate to infiltrate organizations that are engaged with political dissent or actually in many cases the political dissent because of what's called controlled opposition. You know, this concept that the opposition that we get, they're out there and they're actually paid professional uh, counterintelligence or double agents that tell us all the bad news that we have to worry about and stay in fear about. And, you know, there's 80% there's truth in that. Otherwise, it would be if it was all lies, we wouldn't believe them at all, and they wouldn't become celebrities. So at any rate, there's a, literally an organization that is called Co-Intel Pro, short for Counterintelligence Program, and there are agents and agencies that have infiltrated every aspect of our lives, literally destroyed my family, destroyed our businesses, destroyed the companies that we developed over uh, pretty much a, a quarter of a century. If you look at Tetrahedron Publishing, I'm the author of 17 books. Uh, after the first one, after I got ripped off by Simon & Schuster, which initially was Appleton Century Crofts that, that was bought out by Simon & Schuster, I got ripped off in my first book called Your Mouth is Your Business, The Dentist's Guide to Better Health. It came out in 1978 or 1979. And anyway, because of that, I decided to start my own publishing company in 1978 called Tetrahedron Inc., Tetrahedron Publishing. Well, that company is dissolved. It's completely gone because of the infiltration of the agents into my own family. Literally, my ex-wife became, became complicit in the criminal activities by which she illegally dissolved that corporation, and it left Sherry and I just kind of like, well, okay, what are we going to do? Well, the best thing to do is, as Sherry mentioned, you know, you take them on head on with all the facts. You've got all the material evidence. In fact, it's, if anybody really had the opportunity to look at it and clearly, uh, you know, just review the records, it's what's called a, a prima facie case. I mean, it's right in your face. You can see exactly what's happened and why it's even happened. So we've, we've run into a lot of challenges in the state courts. And it's interesting that here in the state of Hawaii, the state courts, local courts, as Sherry mentioned, were largely being frustrated. But I have like a feeling that we may be better off, and we're, we're doing this now. I'm defending an action where I removed a case from the local courts into the federal courts because of the matter that deals with so many civil rights violations and, and, and laws that are broken that are federal laws versus states. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that we will have a little bit more success in the federal venue. Exactly, but then there's a really a very there's a minimal chance that you'll be able to keep it in federal court. Well, actually, I think I, I've just spent the day dealing with uh, looking at all the matters to keep this one aspect. We have actually two cases that are main cases that are going right now. Actually, three. I'm sorry. And the top attorney who's involved in this, his name is Paul J. Sulla Jr. You can go to paulsullafraud.com. Paul Sulla, S U L L A P A U L S U L L A fraud dot com, and you can see the case that I'm talking about. I've written it up, and we've added a whole several sections that we have not even sent out on our newsletter yet, because uh, we're just so swamped with all the things on our desk that we're trying to get to one thing at a time. And what you'll find with that case, with the write-ups, you'll find that it is one of the most unbelievable and shocking cases that you've ever read about. I mean, you can't even imagine it. It takes you into a whole Hollywood, like, movie type of nightmare, foreclosure nightmare that we have lived through for the last eight and a half years, and that it's now coming to a head pretty much. We're going to either lose the property or we're going to be victorious and put the criminals in jail. And that's what our goal is, is to have justice rendered and to put the criminals in jail, particularly this extremely corrupt attorney, Paul J. Sulla, Jr., who has definitive links to the Central Intelligence Agency. And he and he's actually say, saying that we're committing defamation against him by saying that all these true things. Every law that I'm learning, everything that I'm reading, 
is meant to help me. And as I look back, and we've had this discussion, you look back on your life, didn't everything that was a challenge for you and troublesome and problematic result in you learning and growing and achieving exactly where you are today that ultimately is a blessing? It's a preparation. We're in the school of hard knocks. We're in the school of life. Nobody said it was going to be easy. In fact, that's not what this life is about. No matter how much money you got, number one, you're never really secure. Money doesn't produce the security in your life. Faith does. Concept of being divinely connected is the best that you can live. And so this concept, it's just like the Buddhas. They prescribe to be witness, but not attached to what is happening in your life. And I think that for you, Sherry, and for me too, I think that as we go through this challenging time, and everyone out there, as you go through the challenging times we're faced with, think of it as like, okay, what's the lesson in this? What's the best that you can produce out of this situation? How can I be grateful for or thankful for this and actually turn a lemon into a lemonade here and actually realize that we're all just building sandcastles? And the question becomes, what is the quality of life and the service to others and the joy that we can manifest? Because that's the essence of love, the values of love in your heart. To be able to move ahead, regardless of what the challenges are, regardless of the lion's den that you're in, regardless of the corrupt judicial system and attorneys you're facing, I think it's like building sandcastles. And that's the way I've, I've had to personally deal with it. You can't be fulfilled until you're serving other human beings in a meaningful way. And so the question becomes, how does God want you to do that? What is your destiny calling that now moves you in the direction of serving people in a more powerful way? The way in which we now look at law and learn and study law can be most beneficial in helping us to overcome the world's worst nightmare, and that is the drug cartel. That is the military, medical, petrochemical, pharmaceutical cartel that's poisoning our planet. It's poisoning it with nuclear radiation. It's poisoning it with aluminum, barium, and all of these assaults that are taking place in aerosolized form through the contrails and the chemtrails that are poisoned by the JP8 jet fuels. It's poisoning it by what they're putting into our water supply, allegedly for public health, fluoride, fluorine. When we know for years that you can prevent tooth decay, far easier, far less expensive by simple self-care and nutritional changes. We have a product called Liquid Dentist that is awesome. But the fact of the matter is, Chlorine in water is another great example of the hypocrisy. With ultraviolet light, light, you can eliminate viruses and bacteria from water supplies. You don't need to poison the water and we the people. And so all of this knowledge and this technology that's allegedly done for economy in the administration of public health, economy, you mean for a couple cents that we claim that we're going to save? We're going to cause so many cancers, so many arthritic conditions, osteoporosis in the elderly? What is the toll that that choice in public health takes on society? So the concept that we're acting like idiots because of those who are engaged in high-level positions of authority haven't woken up because of the control that the mainstream press has had, it reinforces what I've been saying about the importance of you out there listening. You've got to take our articles, and you've got to spread them to others. 
you've got to join networks and Facebooks and wherever else that you can get the truth out to the people as quickly as possible because that is essential in protecting the constitutional freedoms. That's why our founding fathers in this, I still believe, great nation. That's why they heralded the First Amendment to the Constitution that secured freedom of the press because they knew that without freedom of the press, people will become brainwashed and they'll become apathetic to all of the fascist controls that can take over the government. And that's exactly what has happened, and that's exactly why I think you guys out there listening need to take some lessons from what we're saying. Yeah, we're frustrated. We are, are working our tails off here because we understand that what we're doing is significant, is important. You know, the fact of the matter is, why would God put you in a situation like this right now where you're being frustrated, were it not for the fact that in that frustration is a glorious opportunity to aid and abet something that's bigger than you, bigger than me, and of great, great importance to humanity. That, to me, is where we're at. We can't get bogged down in the page-by-page, day-to-day dregs of resenting what it is that we're doing because we think, in our ignorance, that it's not for our greatest good. We've got to be enjoying the process of being a builder of a sandcastle in a shoreline whereby we know soon that wave is going to come and disappear our creation. You know, God always puts me in the right place at the right time. And where is faith? If I don't have faith that the job that I'm called to do at this moment in time is the improper job, gee whiz, you know, I've got to realize that there is a greater force in the universe than my boss. And that boss has proven time and time and time again. In fact, I'm so stupid that I don't even realize that, that that boss has been constantly directing me, that for me to, in one, in any instant, for me to lose sight of that, I've got to be a complete idiot. The fact of the matter is that I wouldn't be alive right now if it wasn't for the angels of protection that saved me absolutely no reasonable explanation for me to be alive at least a half a dozen times, and that's conservative. If I really thought about it, I could name 12 times when I should have bought it. But, you know, that's not the only thing. You know, you talk about 17 books. I got most of those assignments by divine synchronicity. You could look at the Healing Codes for the Biological Apocalypse book the whole, made the whole change and the whole shift in understanding in the music industry right now and created the 528 Love Revolution. That came out of a prayer that Dr. Joseph Paleo had to bring me to him. He heard me on the Art Bell Show on Coast to Coast. He prayed to Jesus to bring Horowitz to me to output this information. And at that time, I was praying to God for the Achilles heel of the Illuminati. There had to be an Achilles heel to take down the insanity. And lo and behold, through that synchronicity alone, I ended up knocking on Joey's front door for dinner, and we ended up, you know, about uh, eight months later with the book Healing Codes for the Biological Apocalypse, which has been really a turning point in my whole life that has blessed me tremendously over the last uh, 15 years now and has led to 528records.com, to 528radio.com, to all of the beautiful musicians who are writing us right now, saying they've tuned their instruments to 528, A444 instead of A440, and subsequently they're experiencing this spiritual blessing and healing and miraculous healing. Thanks to HealthyWorldStore.com. You want the best products on the planet, products that are resonating in 528, go to HealthyWorldStore.com. You want to partner with us? Join us at HealthyWorldAffiliates.com. HealthyWorldAffiliates.com is an opportunity for you to become an affiliate with us and even an ambassador with us and actually help to take all of the wonderful products and information that we have out to the world.